Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me for this music lesson today. Our first activity is an action song that requires some space for you to move. So you need to move back a little bit, stand up, put your arms like this to make sure there's nothing too close to you so that, that you don't bang into anything or anybody. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna move back to the back of my room here. We were moving and getting our blood flowing and all warmed up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a marching band activity. And for my marching band song, I'm going to play this fantastic tambourine that I found at the dollar store. I hold it by the handle and I'm going to tap it against the palm of my hand right there. But you can play any instrument you like. It can be a homemade instrument, two things that you have lying around the house, or a shaker that you can shake. Uh, if you're in a school, you may have instruments that are actually purchased from the music store, and that's cool too. But if you don't have any instrument, you can tap two pen pencils together, or you can clap your hands or pat your beat while we're doing this activity. The big thing is that the instrument really shouldn't be too big because you need to be able to hold it in your hands while you're marching. So I'm going to play a special pattern while we're doing this song and I'm going to play the same pattern all the way through. It just keeps going over and over again. And when that happens in music, we call that an ostinato. And my ostinato, and if you're going to look right here at this flashcard, it's going to show you exactly how to play it. Long, short, short, long, short, short, like this. Long, short, short, long, short, short. Okay? Very easy, and they will always be up here on the flashcard so that you can look at it and know what you're doing. And let's make lots of space again, give yourself lots of room, because we want our knees up nice and high for this activity. Instruments. One, two, three. Play them all. 
So I love being uh, in a marching band uh, almost as much as I love making motions. And in order to make a motion, a part of our body has to move. And in this song, once we start making a particular motion, we're going to keep that same motion going for the entire song. And if you look right here on this flashcard, our first critter to make a motion is our teddy. And teddy's motion is this, okay, clapping our hands. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow right along and keep a nice steady beat and do exactly what I do. Okay, here we go. Teddy's in the middle now, go, go, go. Clapping his little hands now, to and fro. Teddy's in the middle now, go, go, go. We're doing Teddy's motion because we love him so. Good. And our next uh, critter right here is Kitty. And Kitty is telling me that she wants her motion to be like this, patting her belly. And remember, we're going to keep a nice steady beat. Kitty's in the middle now, go, go, go. Patting her little belly now, to and fro. Kitty's in the middle now, go, go, go. We're doing Kitty's motion because we love her so. Good for you. And our next creature is a raccoon. And raccoon wants to do this. So we're going to follow Raccoon's motion. Here we go. Raccoon's in the middle now. Go, go, go. Waving his little hands now to and fro. Raccoon's in the middle now. Go, go, go. We're doing Raccoon's motion because we love him so. Yeah. Okay. And next we have Hippo. And Hippo's motion is like this. Tapping her head. Here we go. Hippo's in the middle now. Go, go, go. Tapping her little head now to and fro. Hippo's in the middle now. Go, go, go. We're doing hippo's motion because we love her so. And who's next? Blue Jay. Uh, Blue Jay is saying Blue Jay wants this. Blue Jay's tapping his shoulders, okay? Here we go. Blue Jay's in the middle now, go, go, go. Tapping his little shoulders now, to and fro. Blue Jay's in the middle now, go, go, go. We're doing Blue Jay's motion because we love him so. That was really good. Now, if you're in a group with a bunch of other children, you probably know that song well enough now to do it on your own. And what you can do is get uh, different people in your class or in your group to make up their own motion and then everybody in the group can follow them. And then you can take turns being the leader. How much fun is that? So you go ahead and try that. We have another animal song for you. Uh, it's called A Hunting We Will Go. And before we even sing the song, we're just going to go through the animals so that it'll be a little easier when, for you when we actually do the song. So our first critter is a fox in a box. And then for the second verse, it's a whale in a pail. And then we have a cat in a hat. And then last but not least, we have a duck in a truck. We're just going to go ahead and sing that. And there are no actions for this song. So when there are no actions, I always like to keep a steady beat. So why don't you watch me for where I'm keeping my beat, and then you keep your beat in the exact same way.
love that one. Uh, now, so we kept a nice steady beat all through that song, so that was an important thing that we were doing. And the other important thing about this song is that uh, each of these animals uh, was part of a pair of rhyming words. So let's just look back at those animals one more time. So the first thing we had was a fox in a box. And fox and box are rhyming words because they end the same way. They end with the ox sound, but they start with different sounds. Fox starts with F and box starts with the letter B. And then the next animal we had was the whale in a pail. Now, you might look at that thing and call it a bucket, but for this song, we're gonna call it a pail because that's another word for bucket and pail rhymes with whale because they end with the same sound. They end with the ale sound, right? And then we had a cat in a hat. So cat starts with C, hat starts with H, but they both end with the at sound, A-T. And then we had duck in a truck, right? So they end with the uck sound, U-C-K, but duck starts with D and truck starts with T-R. That was wonderful. Okay, so right now we're going to do a snowflakes song and we're going to just do some actions and it's really super simple. You're going to be able to follow right along with me easily. So this song is really good for showing melodic contour. And what that means, it's the direction of our notes, whether our notes are staying the same or getting higher or getting lower. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play that first verse one more time, and we're gonna show the direction of the sounds with our hand motions. Okay, so you just follow me and sing right along. So the first little bit of that uh, song, or the first phrase, it was high, low, high, low, like snowflakes falling. And then the very last part of the song, never make a sound. It started high and went gradually lower and lower and lower, right? So we can show this direction with our hands, but another fun way to show the direction is with our bodies, right? So let's just sing the first little bit. Snowflakes falling, high, low, high, low. And the last part is, never make a sound. See that, and we got gradually lower. That was a lot of fun too. So just like that, we're out of time for this lesson. So please come back and join some of my other classes that I'm going to be posting in the future. I had so much fun with you today. Bye.